Teacher tutoring has always been part of, of the work of learning centers. And we have tutors available to support all students with math, writing, research. So those, those um, subjects and those skills are covered all the time. And then each tutor that has a bit of a specialty area, that would be advertised on the schedule. So for instance, we have one tutor who's taking classes in preparation to become a physical therapist. So he's done a lot of coursework in the math and sciences. So he would advertise that he has that specialty area. The centers have really ad adopted peer tutoring over the last year, year and a half. We just did a training in mid-January for our brand new peer mentors as well as brand new peer tutors. And it was great. There was a room of you know 15 or 20 new peer tutors in addition to the mentors that were there. So we know that that work continues to, to grow and expand. And that's allowing centers to start to specialize. So they might have a tutor who's just there to help students with anatomy and physiology, or they might have a tutor who's there to just help students with a particular um, math class or a research project. So that's really exciting. than I do from like just what I've learned on my own because the people who walk in are so diverse here that I learn a lot about where they're coming from and how they view things which is really different and it's really nice. So then you're gonna want to create a subfolder that's titled something like... For the mentoring we will attend class and kind of see how students are doing and then sometimes depending on how the teacher runs class we'll either kind of do workshops sometimes or we can assist them either before or after class with like special help if they need that or during class so like say they need help with their portal or something like figuring out how something works on Moodle we'd, we'd be there to help them um, so little, little minor things. So the peer mentoring program is really exciting because it's bringing learning centers to the classes, uh, supporting students with whatever needs uh, may come up in that class. And then it's additionally exciting because um, those peer mentors are, are emerging educators themselves, so they're growing in their leadership skills um, and in their knowledge of teaching. Peer mentors spend five hours per week supporting one class, and so they're attending at least half of the instruction hours, and then the rest of those hours they're spending outside of class supporting the students um, however they and the host faculty deem you know, most, most uh, worthwhile. The neat thing is if you walk into the learning center mid-semester, there's such a buzz, there's such good energy. Students helping each other, maybe they've never met, but they're working on the same thing and they're, they're working together. CCV doesn't have a lot of clubs and organizations. We have one community of student representatives. I think of the learning center as sort of being like that student union you might find um, on a traditional four-year campus where students are gathering, helping one another, enjoying the learning process.